This is COP, Mr. Rock the Mic News, Mr. Pick of the Week, 103 Jams, 9 p.m. with DJ Jack the Spade, iHeart on your cell phones. And right now, this is the Hot Topic phone review, and I got I got an incredible duo on the phone, man. Um, you might know a little bit of their resume. You might, you know, you might have heard how they sold out the Nova. You might have heard that how they had the scope packed and rocking. You know, you might have heard how they basically one of the few groups in Hampton Roads that's actually, you know, taking advantage of this new sound called dubstep and making it work for themselves. And, you know, a certain rapper had something to say about them, and they just fired back. I got the Jolly Brothers on the line, man. What's up? What's, what's going on? What's up, mommy? Yeah, man, yeah, appreciate the love, man, like, about the Nova shows. Uh, that's like three Nova shows we sold out. It was, and we didn't expect it at all for the first one, but the dubstep, taking advantage of the dubstep, we actually, we were in the scene a long time ago throwing parties in a warehouse and in the middle of the woods, and you had to get to it by glow sticks, so and it was hidden. So, I mean, we mm. just took it from that, took it to the crust, took it to the Nova, and then booked the scope. And actually, we're doing another scope show in July, August, with a huge headliner that I can't say right now. He's national. But, yeah, uh, Shane Dallas. Uh, yeah, I said his name, publicity, whatever. <laughs> he got at me. We were... We, we were cool at first. I don't know why he dissed us. Out of nowhere, he just dissed us. I guess he's mad at our movement. I don't know why he dissed us. <laughs> but uh, the whole thing is. Now, 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 whole... now, wait, Matt, don't go in here. Wait, 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 wait. Let him know who you, you know, he, look, he, look, he got the intro. He went straight in. Let him know who we got on the line, man. Let him know yourself. Let him know your brother. Introduce yourself for the people. It's a duo. Yeah. It's the duo, Jolly Brothers. I'm Chris Jolly, and that's Matt Jolly. Uh, well, what I'm saying, the one talking already is Chris Jolly, and basically we were cool, and he just came at us for no reason. And then, you know, my manager, Corte Ellis, and um, Bugatti, was like, go ahead, get him, dude. Like, straight up, get him. Who cares? I was like, so he gave me that word. Oh, shout, out, like, shout out to the co-op. Shout out to the co-op. Okay, let, before, we, before we get into the diss record, I had a chance to interview Shane. And we were talking on the line. And can you address some of the things he said? He said he feels slighted because he said in one situation he felt like you tried to bring him into a beef with a DJ. What's the deal with that situation he's talking about with the DJ? Well, well, you tried the to bring is, him in a beef. I think that this is Matt, by the way. Um, he, okay. He's making excuses. He's the guy that knows all our lyrics, got a Jolly Brothers shirtless picture right on oh, wow. his dresser. We were cool, like, he just sent me a message, right, talking about, yo, when, I want you to record my whole next project. And this was May 16th, mm. and I'm like, what? And he come out with a diss record. People ask him, they're like, why'd you diss Jolly Brothers? He has no legit excuse, so he's just, he's making excuses so he doesn't look like a hater. He's basically addressed that he's a hater. He said, I know I'm going to be called a hater for this. Why would you say that if you were feeling like you were a hater? See, we retaliated. He's mad. He wants to fight me. He I, I, he came out with the diss record first, so, I mean, mm-hmm. where am I supposed to sit down and not let it happen? Usually I don't let it happen, but, you know, Corte Ellis and Co-op told me to do it. So, so DJ Beef, I don't know who he's talking about, but it's just people get mad when they're not on the next show. You know, I, I, I want to work with Baby Drew, for real. Like, DJ Baby Drew was, like, a really uh, good mentor to me and uh, DJ status around this area but that's that that's just going without saying i just i want to look out for all djs not just say have the same ones a lot of people mad at us i don't, I don't care but i got a lot of love too so and i, I guess it is okay it is. Now, now now let me ask you this he also brought up a point he said that i'm not sure which which one of you out of matt and chris which one of you actually does production that's me oh, that's okay. matt jolly matt and that's me i do okay. all the engineering and the production yes, okay so he was saying that uh uh in another situation that he reached out to you matt and he said basically you guys were supposed to work on a beat and then bumped into one of your your, your your peoples and your crew and they were telling them about the beat and they was like, Yeah, I heard you was gonna use, you know, whatever it was because, you know, I didn't want it and he felt slighted there too. Cause he said he said, you know, he, he respects you guys grind and everything. I guess he just doesn't from 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 his his point of view he said he just doesn't like how you guys do business. 
How do you feel about that? Oh, well, I, I don't understand why I, he was well, saying that he's trying to do business with us. I don't do business with Shane, for one. I've, I've never sold him a beat. I've never sold him studio time. Matter of fact, I gave him free beats, and I gave him free studio time because, I, you know, I liked him. You know what I mean? I heard his little interview he had with you yesterday. He said we ran events together. We've, we've never ran an event together. He's, he's always wanted me to, but as far as Shane, I don't like him as a businessman. I don't like his attitude. His attitude right. is, is really going to block him from and, what, what, and what, 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 what about, what about his attitude? Do you, do you, not, do you I'm dislike? I'm on his attitude. We've never done business together because I never let it happen. Now, this is Chris Jolly. Yeah, Matt okay. handles the engineering and production, and he's my partner in business as well. But Matt will tell right. you, Chris handles a lot of the, the outside business. Shane came at us. He, he's he been wanting to do – he wanted to do – Um, a matter of fact, I got an inbox that I screenshotted. He wants to do Free Falling, the song Free Falling at Glow Show. He sent it to me like – Four times I said, "Look, man, it's not really the genre in our our era because ours is dubstep, rave event, EDM, right. like you know, just a dance party, and it kind of wouldn't fit. It would just be a right. cluster." Basically, I told him no, and we did work after that. Well, like he, we did we did a couple songs together at my brother's studio for free, gave him free beats. I feel like my opinion, he's mad at us because we got the scope. We did fit. By the way, we did not sell out the scope. We, people, I don't want anybody to say we're sell, sitting here selling out the scope. We did about 5,400 people in there, but that's good for a local local artist. Absolutely, but, uh, absolutely. I, I mean, so, you guys, you know, before you move on, man, we, we, we definitely just want to salute you, man. I mean, you guys are making yeah. history. I, I don't know anybody, you know, in the scene here in the Hampton Roads that has done what you man, guys have trying, done. Man, we trying, man. We trying, dog. We're just working hard at it, man. Well, well, see, that's that's also this. That's what I'm saying, and I I feel like that's why he's mad because we're we're breaking records, and I'm I'm not big headed. I'm I'm actually I want to put on local for our local artists. I want to run events for local artists to to get exposure the way they should. And and right. Shane, I feel like he's still salty that we're doing bigger things than him. And I don't mean that in any cocky way at all whatsoever. But my opinion, I feel like that's the only reason he would come at us for no reason whatsoever, period, being that we were cool a week before this happened. And as far as the diss record goes, I, I honestly... It was cute. The Sleeping yeah. Beast, baby. I honestly, you know, I've heard Shane just a, a few few rappers, and, and actually Shane really went in on those. But the Jolly Brother one, man, come on. Not even... I, like, if I wasn't a Jolly Brother, I'm just like, really? I mean, like... You, well, you, how about, how do we, why don't we put it in a fair situation and let the people decide who won that? I can't post it on my wall because, of course, my people are going to say I won. He can't post it on his wall because because his people are going to say he won. But at the end of the day, all of our peoples are the same people. But we got to come up with some kind of blog where we could post both of them and ask the public who won. Because honestly, oh I'm well, 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 back we, on we, we have that blog, man. RockTheMikeNews dot com, man. We We've been posting and we've been getting, you know, plenty of feedback, and that's why I definitely got you on the line as, as a hot topic, man. Let's just be clear because his end was like this, and I'm sure you guys' end is like this. People online saying it's a beef, and from my view and from talking to him, it just sounds like it's a battle and a disagreement. Am I correct in it, saying that? It's a, yeah, oh, man, exactly. definitely. I definitely. I don't want no problem. I don't look. Yeah. I don't, I'm not in this music to fight. I know if you want to battle, if you want, and, I, and I'm not a battle rapper either. But if you want to come at me like that out of nowhere, dude, I gotta retaliate. Now he's talking about on Facebook all this about fighting us. Cause, oh, when I see you out, I'm a chin check you, knock you out. So you got personal. No, well, the thing is, I, I like. I I'm gonna say it like this. I have no beef with nobody. But when I feel disrespected as a man, I'm gonna defend myself. And, and, you know what I mean, especially on a diss record, you know, on a guy that we were friends. So, yeah, we can, we'll, we'll keep it music. I mean, now, I, now I don't, we'll, I don't, we'll, feel, we'll, 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 we'll I don't but, feel like it was, as a grown man, you should be mad at uh, retaliation if you started it, in my opinion. Now, now, now this is, this is Shane, Chris talking, Shane, right? If you're Chris? listening, yeah. Okay, now, quick quick question, Chris, before you move on. When, when you said he felt like you got personal, what what exactly do you think he's well, he's upset about? I had fired I had fired one of my security guards 
for going behind my back on some personal issues. And on his diss record, he said, I got Jay on payroll. Well, Jay is at my old security. Well, Jay had told me some personal things about his wife, and that's what I said on the record. And oh, this wow. Is what I said, Jay said. Jay said. Oh, wow. I said, you got Jay now wow. on payroll, of course. Well, they know. Jay know said. Blah 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 blah. And I won't get into it on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We that, we gonna we gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> that was yeah, yeah. I mean, but, um, yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, the thing is we got personal because he he said y'all respond back, I'm gonna kill you or something like that. And yeah, I'm he got personal. That's not to my music. Shows to shoot me up. I mean, in the disc record that I had no idea he was even doing. And I, when I woke up and and saw it, I was like, really? You're talking about killing me, dude. What, I mean, from what? What did I do to you? So I, 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 I think it was, I think it was all lyrical, man. You know how you know that the rappers get very lyrical because. Okay, but but my life is personal. Personally, I'm a person, so I have a life, and I don't. Want, if somebody's on a record saying they're gonna take it from me, that's personal. So I mean, it's a ditch anyway. I, I mean, if you right. did, it gets personal. It's period. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he, he he said it was all hip hop. He said uh, it could definitely be resolved. He just felt like he he had some get get off his chest, and he did not expect you guys to come back. So let's get into why you know what I'm saying you even responded outside of the management saying, "Yo, you got the okay." Well, the thing uh, is, I told my brother, uh, Chris, yeah, yeah. I was like, I told him, I was like, "Yo, we're not gonna respond. We're not gonna give him the time of the day. We're gonna keep moving and let our success slap him in the face like four or five times." And then my brother, it was like three hours later, he said Bugatti and Corte just got off the phone with him. They said murder him. So I said, let's do it. (laughs) So who is that? And and like I said before, this is Chris, Jolly Brothers, we are a duo that do dance events. I'm an event coordinator slash artist. So I do dance events where people just, Peace, love, unity, respect, plur. Everybody's right. dancing, jumping up and down. Now, all the shows that I've done, there, and, and I've had 13, 1,400 people at the Norva, and I had 5,500 at the Scope, and none of them, not one, had any fun kind of brawl, fight, no gun, no, because I don't mm, promote that salute. kind of stuff. I don't do it. So that's probably why he didn't expect us to come back, because we're not battle MCs. We're not lyrical MCs, per se. We're more of on the top 40 kind of billboard genre. So wow. that's why people were probably kind of like, damn, they they, they kind of got lyrical on that. Where did this come from? Like, you know, but right. you right. know, I, 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 think, you, I think you surprised a lot of people on it. It, it, it. it definitely was entertaining. It definitely was a lot of comedy in it. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people what, what you think of the disc the records? What you think of the disc records? I'm going to leave my pen out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got I to gotta, gotta play this political line, you know what I'm saying, right now. But from a standpoint, I definitely think both of them was entertaining. I, I just think his was a surprise, but yours was more like, wow, like where, where did they come? I don't think nobody expected you to respond. I don't think... This is this was just so unheard of, you know what I'm saying, for you guys. So I think it was really a shocker. Another shocker is, like you said, you guys do, you know, the dubstep, you do dance. It's all peace and love. So to be get to actually create a diss record, I think everybody was just like, yo, you just got <laughs> this by the Jolly Brothers and they went in. I was surprised when I heard the diss. Out of all the times that we've chilled and hung out, besides music doing anything, me and Shane has went to lunch together, went to Ruby Tuesdays. We've we've actually talked and chilled. Like, you know, I've met his family. I, I know him. Like, they kind of caught me on right, work, so that's why I had to get the, uh, to get the crew. He said that we jumped him on a record. Uh, no, he he did. I, I said, said, I said he, we, the whole crew. He said, you're doing dubstep. I ain't met a thug yet from your crew. That's when all my team was like, yo, no, nah, they called me. They're like, yo, we're getting them. I was like, no, nah, I ain't got right. the call saying that we can, we can go, so let's do it. So, I mean, I we let, all had 20 bars of peace. So, let me ask, let me ask, y'all, let me ask that, y'all this. That, 
Chris, what we're, what we're doing here. And, and at the end of the day, I'm still happy. I'm still going to keep it moving. I'm still, I got a meeting today with two investors for this uh, next scope show in July and August. We got Snack Fest coming up. I'm still going to do Chris. everything that I'm doing with a smile on my face. And I stand by Pur. Peace, love, unity, respect. Now, if somebody doesn't give me that in return, I'm going to have to do the same thing. Gotcha. Let me ask you this. How did y'all hook up with um Forte, you know, DJ Boo, the whole VA co-op movement for uh, uh, to, to do management? I knew Boo because I, well, I lived in these apartments, and uh, KD was my neighbor. And this is right. when I That's had Eddie. a studio in my closet in my apartment. I met KD. It was like maybe four right. years ago. Yeah, I had two fifteens, just always banging. He was my next door neighbor. He's like, "Yo, can you turn that shit down?" <laughs> right. So he would come over and he would see what I'm working with. He was like, "Man, you need to come to my studio, man." And so right. we went there. We went to a studio, and Bugatti was there. And his first uh, words when he met us was like, "How come you ain't get me these guys last year?" <laughs> yeah, and so he was like, "So you rap?" And, and and see, I was in construction clothes at the time. This is when I worked a full time job, and I was a construction right. worker, man. And I was he didn't know I rap. I just started rapping, and then and he was like, "Wow!" And I just gave him my CD, and it had Rich Boy song on it. He fell in love with it, and then he was like, "Yo, why don't y'all just come in?" In the studio, use the back room, and you can just record here. So uh, we've been team ever since, man. Yeah, I remember. And then we got a um, studio in Norfolk where, um, you know, it's I can't remember which street it's on. But anyway, I was doing, I was in the middle of a record that my brother had produced, and I got a phone call, and it was Bugatti. Usually he's always, hey, man, what's up, dude, blah, 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 blah. What's up? So I was like, I'm going to answer this. I know he's going to start complaining because that's what Boo does. He's like my dad. <laughs> so he, uh, right. I answered it and he said, you want a record deal? I said, what What you mean? He said, you want a record deal? And I said, yeah, <laughs> duh. And he was like, all right, well, you have a meeting with Corte Ellis and me tomorrow. Don't be late. So wow. we had a meeting. We signed the paperwork. One Life Management, that's who we're working through. So right. um, I feel like that's where the diff came from. But honestly, yo, like I, I got too much things going on in my life to even be worried about another diss. If he makes another diss song, I'm not going to respond back. I did what I did. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. It, it was a record. It was a diss. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm focused on the music that Bugatti has produced for us. My brother has produced for us. And uh, be back. What's up, be back? And um. Now let me ask you look before out we get the, off the chain. Before we get off the chain, subject can it be resolved? Yeah, it can be resolved. I'm, I'm yeah, any, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of belief and faith, man. Like I believe anything can be anything. It's all what you make it. You know what I mean? Like if if right. he if he wants to stay mad at me, he's gonna he's gonna stay mad at me. But if he wants to to resolve everything, of course I'll shake hands. I, you know what I mean? I'm a man. I, I'm mature enough to shake his hand and be like, yo. It was, it, was, it was fun while it lasted. We definitely uh, wish both of y'all the best. Before we get out of here, man, go ahead and let them know your Twitter, your Facebook, where they can get with you, man. My brother runs the Instagram, so you could go ahead and run on that. Yeah, look, right look. On. It's uh, Twitter, at Jolly Brothers, J-O-L-L-E-Y Brothers. Same with Instagram, at Jolly Brothers. Facebook, Jolly Brothers. And um, Chris Jolly is my personal one, and Matt Jolly is his personal one. Go ahead and like Jolly ENT, the like page as well. Go ahead and like the Glow Show like page. I mean, and matter of fact, while we at it, while we doing those, we should uh, look up K9 the Rook and look up Kobe High and like their pages as well. Yeah, uh, Kobe High, uh, Kobe High and K9 are somebody to be watched out for intensely. They're, these guys, lyrically and image and delivery and fan base is so huge, and I'm so proud proud of them and they came a long way and I'm so happy to say they're part of Jolly N T UFO. So now that that that's Kobe uh, plug them one more time. Who is that we looking out for? Kobe High and K9 the Rook. Uh like I said, I'm happy to have them a part of Jolly N T slash UFO. Um these guys these guys are something else, man. They, they they were actually on the dish record. Kobe was the one that's rapping fast. K 9s the last one that's rapping. And um mm. yeah, and Skrilla Squad, VA Co op, Tough Shorties on there. Look out for um Zap too, because Zap is huge right now. Oh yeah, Zap is and, Zap is that dude, man. Shout out to Zap. Um uh, Bugatti, Bugatti Forte, Rock Life Management, everybody. 
Fellas, I appreciate your time. You know what I mean? We definitely cleared the air. You know, everybody listening, man, follow the jollies. Make sure rockthemightnews.com gets tagged in that record, man, so we can blast it off. When you do drop it, any announcements, just let me know what's going down. We definitely support y'all, man, and salute, man. Yeah, no doubt. Thanks for having me. I'm going on it right now, and I'm going to share the link to everybody, man. Appreciate that, man. All right, uh